In this video, we'll be covering how to automatically fully define a sketch in SOLIDWORKS. From time to time, some sketches may have lots of elements drawn in them, and defining all sketch entities manually can become quite the feat. But if you're very sure about the rough size and shape of all of your sketch, and you would only need to fine tune it later, then the fully defined sketch tool is just right for you. Take for example this plate. I want to make a cut extrusion for several sketch entities in a single operation. I've used some circles, a slot, a linear sketch pattern, and some lines. Normally I will have to define the center of all these circles as well as the slot, and some sketch constraints like equalities, a collinearity with this line and this one from the model, tangencies for the slot, etc. Since I'm sure this is how the sketch will look, I can right click and select the fully defined sketch tool. The fast way to do this is just click on calculate and you're good to go. But the results can be quite messy as you can see. You could also just calculate the dimensions and constraints for just a couple of entities, like these three ones and just click on calculate. And the results are still kind of chaotic, but of course it's best to understand all the options in this tool. And that means deciding where our origin would be. Below, on the dimensions section, we can choose two datums to define our origin. These two datums can be a vertical model edge, like the ones I already have from my extrusion feature, or I can also choose any of the vertices that I have available. Or if you haven't made a extrusion or cut extrusion yet, you can also choose a vertical or horizontal line or a point. For example, this one or these points. So the idea is that you choose the two sides that would describe better where your origin would be. In the case of a square or rectangle type part, this would be ideal, but I can also choose two times the same vertex, like that. And now the dimension placement will arrange all of our dimensions on a single side, depending on what you want. I recommend choosing the two sides that will put all your dimensions outside of the piece. What I mean is that I would like my dimensions to be on the left side and below. So those two combinations would be below and left of course and then you just click on calculate and that's it also it is worth mentioning that the center point of a circle can also work as a origin as for the relations section you'll notice that when you click on calculate solidworks will always try to use all of the available relationships so if there's no tangency to be applied it won't apply it but if you tell solidworks to never apply a tangency even if it's available for example i won't see the tangencies here on this slot which is not a problem because all of my sketch is defined i also can tell solidworks to don't apply any relationship whatsoever and i will only get the dimensions without any sketch constraints and lastly let's talk about how the dimensions look as you just saw by default solidworks will create this ugly baseline dimensions, which take a lot of space, and they are very chaotic sometimes. And these would be the same ones that we would create when using the Smart Dimension tool. But we actually have three options to choose from. For each of your two datums, you can choose the baseline, which would be this default option, or you can choose, for example, the chain style, which is very similar in nature, but a little better. As you noticed, the chain style will start sketching from your datum and then, and then the entity nearest to that datum will become the new origin for the next entity and, well, it looks like a chain. But the very best option is the ordinate one. Not only this option is the cleanest, but will dimension all entities with respect to the origin you choose and not create any dependencies, which means that if I decide to edit this distance, it won't affect the other ones. So you see, these remain unchanged. Also, you can right-click on any of your two datums, for example, 
I want to add this other dimension again, so I right click on it. And you'll see this option which says add to ordinate, which will enable me to add again this dimension and any other ones I'd like. Of course, SolidWorks will never know exactly your needs, so it's best to combine the ordinate dimensions with some baseline ones. Take this last sketch for example. I know that I would like the outer dimensions automatically as well as most of the inner ones, but I'm most interested in, in these two lines. I do want to edit them in detail and these other two I don't care that much about them, so I can make this line dependent with this one to define a thickness or a width and I would be okay with that. So again, I could fully define my sketch. We can choose our origin too, which is very convenient. So let me put everything here like this. And so far, this is very good for me. Now, another tip. If you'd like some of these dimensions to be on the other side, for example, this one, it could be below and it would look much cleaner. You can right click on any of them and break the alignment like this. And you can do that, which is very convenient. Now, this other dimension, I really don't like it. So I'm going to remove it. And I'm gonna add a new one, which would be this one. And of course, I want it below too. And now, I don't want this one either. And this radius is stopping me from doing what I want. So, what I was telling you is that I would like these two to be together. So, now let's say that I really want this to be at the 30 millimeter mark and this one could be at the 2 and I just want the thickness to be 5 mm and that's a lot better for me and that's it I hope you found this useful and that you make great things with all that extra time you'll be saving up remember work smarter not harder